tools are used. Heavy duty zip ties, duct tape, atlantic tape, tar bark bonding cement, backer wrap, cotton balls, and my cutco scissors. I start off with 18 inch zip ties. And I cut each one in half like this. Next, I use one cotton ball and fold and wrap it around each end of the zip tie. Then, I use the athletic tape to secure the cotton ball. This part will be at the base of his ears, so it needs to be comfortable and cushion-like. And I do the same for the other ear. Then I wrap with athletic tape again. There's not really a specific way to wrap with the tape, but I first like to fold it over the cotton ball, then wrap it around until it's secured to the zip tie. Then they look like these with a little cotton ball by the end. I sometimes also use the back of rod instead of the cotton ball, and I just insert the zip tie into the back of rod. I like using this method when I want to wrap his entire ear after placing the zip tie. So here it is with the zip tie inserted into the back of rod. And I wrap again with athletic tape. Again, no specific way to wrap the tape. This is just a method I prefer to use. But I do wrap it taunt enough where it is still a bit spongy without it being too thick for his ear. It kind of feels like a soft styrofoam. I can still squeeze it and feel it bounce. So here's the cotton ball to the left and the back of rod to the right. Now it's time for the duct tape. I use both the ridge and smooth sides of the zip tie, no preference. On this piece, I use the ridge side of the zip tie. I place the zip tie on the sticky side of the duct tape. Then I place another piece of the duct tape covering the zip tie, making sure to leave the sticky side exposed like you see here. Next, I press both pieces of duct tape together, then I just bend it a couple times. Next, I taper the base of the duct tape so it doesn't irritate his ear, because this piece will be inside his ear. This way, it's a lot more comfortable to wear. I repeated this for the second ear post. This time, I placed the smooth side of the zip tie onto the duct tape. So like I said before, no preference. The rich side or the smooth side, both of them work the same. I usually make a couple ear posts for easy install for when I take out his old post and clean his ear. Also, no preference on the duct tape. He just has a variety of colors that he uses. This one we call his tribal tattoos. Again, the reason why I use the backer rod sometimes 
for the times when I want to wrap his entire ear. And I'll show you a picture at the end of this video with his ear entirely wrapped. So now that his ear posts are made, it's time to put them in. I use Tarbard Bonding Semen for its tacky texture. First, I rub a thin layer on the post and leave it until tacky. Next, I rub a thin layer in his ear. This will allow the post to stick securely to his ear. I fan the ear to create tackiness, right before sticking the post to his ear. Then I gently lift his ear up and taunt, then place the bulb of the post into the ear to the point of resistance. Then stick the rest of his ear moving upward onto the post. I cut off the excess post and shape to his ear. And one ear post is complete. Here's a close up of the other side of him getting the Tarbot bonding cement on his ear. Then his ear is lifted and bulbs placed inside the ear until resistance. Then I work my way up his ear bonding the glue together. Then I cut off the excess post to the shape of his ear. And here we have a fresh post in place. We call this one his tribal ear tattoo. And for reference, this is his entire ear posted and wrapped all the way to the top. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.